everybody. Welcome back to Ozark Mountain Goats. If you've been following along with our channel, you know that we currently have goats that are in milk. We are milking three does a day and getting about a gallon of goat milk a day. So we have plenty of milk to experiment with some different things and try some different recipes. We've been making some hard cheeses, some chev, and um, recently we've been making some goat milk ice cream. So I'm going to show you a very basic, easy vanilla goat milk ice cream recipe today, and um, we'll be putting that in our Cuisinart ice cream maker. We had looked into an attachment for our KitchenAid blender, but those are pretty expensive. So we went with this uh, Cuisinart ice cream maker. It had good reviews and it wasn't super expensive. In fact, I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to go ahead and check that out. Um, also, you know, anytime you're out and about, be sure and check at any local flea markets or uh, swap meets, garage sales, because you can pick up some really nice used uh, kitchen appliances for next to nothing. But anyway, let's get started and I'll show you how you put this batter together. A batch and a half fits nicely in our ice cream maker. So in this pot here, I've got six cups of goat milk and to that I'm gonna add one cup plus two tablespoons of sugar. Now over medium heat, I'm going to bring that to a simmer and then once I get there, I've got uh, six egg yolks that I'm going to carefully temper and then I'll be adding that back into the milk and sugar mixture. My milk and sugar has reached a simmer so I'm going to shut this off and begin to temper my eggs. Basically, you just want to add the hot liquid really slowly so you don't end up with scrambled eggs. I like to do a couple of ladlefuls before I add it back into the pot. Okay, now you just want to reheat your mixture and uh, as it begins to thicken, you can remove it from the heat and add your vanilla. This is beginning to thicken, so I'm going to shut the heat off and stir in my vanilla now. For a batch and a half, I have one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And that is it. That's all there is to it. So I am going to let this cool and once it's cool enough to pour into a jar, I'll put it in a half a gallon jar and stick it in the fridge. Okay, this is going into the fridge for at least two hours and take my word for it, you don't want to rush it because if you put the batter into the ice cream maker before it is good and cold, it doesn't do very well. It uh, makes more of an ice milk and it's hard as a brick when it finally does freeze. So anyway, give it plenty of time. Okay, the moment of truth. This has been in the freezer for a couple of days actually. You want it at least overnight so it's solidly frozen. Otherwise it won't work really quite adequately. This is good and cold so I'm just going to pour that in. Good. See how thick it got. Okay. Now the paddle just goes down in there. And this goes on top. 
This is super easy to use. You just turn it on and set your timer for 25 minutes and you've got ice cream. So. That 25 minutes went really fast. So, let's see how it turned out. It looks pretty thick. Oh yeah. This is awesome. This would be perfectly fine to eat just as it is. Kind of a soft serve consistency. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in a tub and get it in the freezer and let it harden up just a little bit more. Yum. Got an old ice cream container that comes in really handy. There's a little bit stuck to the sides and the bottom where it's really cold that you could probably get off if you let it set at room temperature a little bit. But anyway, you get the picture. So this gives us a pretty good amount by doing a batch and a half. So I'm going to get this in the freezer and uh, It'll be ready to go probably in another hour or so. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video of making homemade goat milk ice cream. This batch will probably stay vanilla, but our next batch, I think we're gonna add some black walnuts for Jim, since that's his favorite. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure and hit that like button, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and remember that everything is better with ice cream. Thank you later.